Hello and welcome to Blackpool Sixth Form Virtual Year 10 Open Day. Uh, this will give you an opportunity to find some information out about the Uniform Protective Service courses that we run today. So welcome to you all uh, and I hope you find this uh, presentation informative, you get a bit of an understanding about the courses that we run and what they involve and also a bit of information about the teachers and the activities that we get involved in too. This will give you a better understanding of the kind of careers that you be looking at and maybe considering the different employers that you could be working with in the future. So as a little starter today, we want you to have a think about the uniform services in the UK. Who are they? So I wonder whether you could maybe jot some ideas down or post or think of any sort of images that come to mind of who those protective services are. Who is it that the employers that we're looking at going and working for? So pause this video and just jot down a few ideas. Have a think about who they might be. OK. So welcome back and hopefully you've written down some ideas uh, of your own and had a little chance to think about it. So what did you include on your list? Did it include the different services such as the police service? It could include the fire service, fire and rescue service, just as much as it include the armed forces. And that would be the army, the RAF, the Navy, it would include the Marines, okay? Uh, and also it could include the prison service as well. So we've got a vast array of different uniform protective services in the UK who are your potential employers. And there's a vast array of different careers that you could consider for your future. And this is what the course is trying to focus and aim at so that you could go on to further working with them or developing your skills to have a better understanding of criminology, you could go into law or policing or even sort of forensic science. So who am I and who are the team uh, who are going to be working with you on this course? So just a little bit of an introduction to give you a who's who. So first up, we've got Steve Gibson. That's our assistant head of department and he's responsible for the public service courses themselves at Blackpool Sixth Form. Then we have Paul Moran, Dave Pimblett, and myself, Anna Fishpool. And we've got a vast array of different skills and expertise that help develop the course and make it so successful and make those individuals successful too. And that can be from the military services, we've got from the fire service, we've got uh, outdoor ed and first aid uh, skills and expertise, as much as fitness training and sports leadership. So all those skills combined make for a really successful course and therefore we have really successful students who attend our college. So the courses that we run, the protective uniform services, you could study a two or a three A-level equivalent course. We have a big impact emphasis and have a big impact on live learning and that means that we learn by doing uh, so it's not just about being sat in the classroom and doing the theory work we want to get you out of the classroom as much as possible because we also enjoy it and we work with the local community and employers to make sure that you are engaged uh, and getting as much experience as possible and learning as well this includes the army residentials that we go with when we work with the, the army reserves. We work with the emergency services such as the police and the fire rescue, um, taking part in simulated terrorist attacks and incidents. Uh, we work with the, the RAF and the Marines uh, with fitness training and leadership skills. And we have the police service, for example, where we work with the dog unit and also um, riot training. So we want you to get in when you come into college, but also engage you and get you out as much as possible. OK, so we have really close links with those employers and a really unique relationship with Blackpool Sixth Form. 
uh, and we work really closely together and it's successful. And that means that we also want you to be formed part of the college community as well as the wider community. Uh, so we take part in army parades and there's a whole variety of activities that you that happen at the Blackpool Sixth Form Camp where you can take part and engage with with a load of interest to suit you. And this all leads for you to be really successful. And we have a high percentage of our ex-students who, really, who are now successful in their employment. Uh, they've got a vast array of careers that they've progressed into. And we hope that you will be one of those successful students too when you come to join us. So at Blackpool Sixth Form, we're looking at developing your skills and make sure that those skills are relevant to the careers that you want to go into, that they're relevant to the different employers of what they're looking for and developing to what level you have and how making sure that you are more impactful in your future. So we'd definitely be looking sort of at leadership and developing your teamwork, whether that's with theory and practice. And these all link directly to the public service units that you'll be studying uh, and leading within the public services. We look at problem solving, uh, discuss how we're going to deal with a particular situation and put those problem solving ideas into practice. Did they work? What could we do better next time? We're also going to get to, to develop your outdoor and navigation skills. Uh, and that's looking at sort of route planning um, taking part on walks or mountain bike routes, um, planning for risks and first aid. Uh, and to get you out and about as much as possible, okay? We we'll also look at rock climbing and orienteering, which is fantastic. And it's not everyone's um, key skill, but we want to develop your skills to communicate, to looking out about the features around you. And we have our own in indoor climbing walls where we can develop your skills. It doesn't have to be the highest. It's about your route choice and your decision making. These all lead into sort of employability skills, as well as developing your time management, that's submitting assignments in on time, um, you know, how you manage in time your leadership activities, how you organize your information together uh, and doing presentations. Uh, so we want to develop your skills so that then these can all be relevant and useful when you go out into the employment world. So the couple of the pictures that we're looking at are how they're relevant into the public services. So we take you on the army residentials, talk to them about, you know, the kind of skills that you will learn if you go into the armed forces. We're looking at different types of problem solving and decisions making, and that's at different levels of whether it's gold command, making strategic plans, or all the way down to bronze where you're actually on the ground dealing with the incidents themselves and how that information is communicated to everybody else involved. And that also links into going out navigating, planning uh, our routes, planning what we're going to doing uh, that day. Uh, and we do walks over to Donsup and Parlick uh, to expose you to being out and about and dealing with real life situations when you're out there. So it's all good fun. So why come and choose us at Blackpool Sixth Form? And why choose the courses that we offer today? Well, we have a lots of different trips and visits and probably the one of the most, uh, one of the main courses that does the most trips and visits within Blackpool Sixth Form. And every unit that you'll be studying on that course all link to a trip or a visit, or we have an employer coming in and doing a presentation and a talk. So we will have trips with the Army Reserves, where we go camp residentials. Um, we have talks for like, uh, from the police on knife crime uh, and dealing with um, terrorist attacks and uh, samples in scenarios. We want to share our expertise, our knowledge, our skills that we've already developed uh, in our work life career uh, and share that with you so that then you can make, be more informed about the kind of careers and choices that you can take on in the future. 
and we have passed success rates and that's really high and it's a key selling point of our course high percentage of our students have a really high grade uh, and they get uh, distinction stars which is equivalent to a stars uh, for your GCSEs which is you know a really good success rate within the college Having that past success rate also means that you've got a high opportunity to progress onto other courses, whether that's going on to university or going into work with employers directly. So within that course, you have the opportunity to look at a vast array of skills and careers. Even if you were considering policing, then you might change within the course and have a look at other career opportunities that other public services have to offer. So you might look at military policing, for example, as a different career route. So we go on to looking at live learning in a little bit more detail. What do we really mean by that? Well, we have a vast array of different trips, as I said before, and some recent ones that we've had, we had a New York trip, so they looked at Ground Zero, so that was when there was a, the terrorist attack on the Twin Towers, and they have a look at how the public services responded and how it impacted on people's lives and how it's still impacting on people's lives today. We organised trips to go to London, and that's looking at the Houses of Parliament, how decisions are made, uh, and looking at the whole process. And there's, within all of the trips that we do, there's lots of really interesting and fun things to do as well. Okay. We've also been to Krakow and we looked at Auschwitz and the impact of war and how it impacts on people's lives uh, and a variety of different museums and we had a little look around within the city itself. Really interesting, all really good fun uh, and all been really successful for the students who've attended them. So we look forward to doing many more of those in the future. We also have a look at sort of terrorist incidents and we get the emergency services to come in and do talks. And we've also taken part in disaster management training and planning scenarios so that we have that real life experience of people being involved in those terrorist incidents as much as, you know, getting you involved in the decision making. What needs to be put in place? What safety measures? What lessons have we learned? You know, what can we do to plan ahead for it? future incidents that could may happen that may happen. And that also includes where we do some riot training with the police. So they're actually on a training course and they use our students. You get to be involved as you are the rioters. Um, and you get to have real life experience of what the actual police have to do. And they're on their training course learning about those skills. It also includes army residential days, as we've said before. So we get to go and learn about their different army manoeuvres, their tactics, looking at night navigation. We have personal development days and fitness testing days and leadership activities from the different public services. With that, we also include all our outdoor experiences. So looking at your orienteering, so being able to read maps, planning routes, how long is it going to take you to get from A to B, looking at doing the wall climbing that we have within college and developing people's confidences and skills, whether it's communication, you know, rope work, um, belaying people as much as doing some of the climbing. And obviously then we, we link in with the walking and that links directly to your outdoor activity units that we do on the course. We also have a vast array of university visits. So we're going into different universities and finding out about their courses. And it gives you a bit more information about the kind of careers or courses that you might consider once you've left Blackpool Sixth Form. And that will include also see some outdoor residentials as well, which is all really good fun. And it adds to the really good experience and success rate of our course. So, and then finally, we have social media platform, okay? And we uh, use this to keep people, you guys, informed and up to date as much as possible. Paul Moran is definitely our TikTok expert within the department. and He's always encouraging people to actively put some posts up. But do have a look at those um, 
different platforms. Those are all our usernames available there for you to sign up. Check them out, follow them, like any of those posts, add any comments to those posts as well. Uh, we like to keep you informed, uh, so keep checking on those regularly. We're always posting about what the students are currently doing within college and interested to hear the success stories of students who have left uh, and, and what their current careers are as well. So we look forward to seeing you and we look forward to you to coming back. If you've got any queries, don't hesitate to ask at all. Enjoy the rest of your year 11 day, or year 10 day, apologies. Bye.